Hello everyone. So we have finally released the new leads module and I'm going to give you a quick overview of um, what it looks like and how to effectively use it. Okay. So there are a couple things that are going to be offered to those that are on growing and starter plan, which is this leads, leads section. So what you can do is basically create a form. Okay, so you'll be able to create a form. Okay, let's see if I can go ahead and open this one up. So you see how it looks like. Okay, so something like this, you could customize um, your uh, questions and what answers need to be filled and things like that. And then you could copy the link and you could post this wherever you want, whether on your website or somewhere externally, if you want to be collecting leads, um, things like that. And then when someone fills it in, you'll be able to be uh, taken here. And that's what you can do on the starter and growing plan. And then if you guys are on the premium plan, then you get everything else that the leads module uh, comes with. And this is a very powerful module because if you save just one person, one potential lead uh, per month, it pays for itself. So let me show you how that could kind of work. So basically we have four default funnels that we created for you guys and you guys can create um, as many funnels as you guys want and whatever is important to your business, you guys can create a funnel for it. So we, for example, created these and I'll go one by one so you can kind of um, see how I personally would use them um, from from you know years of experience running a service business and what I see works best for other companies as well how they gather um, leads things like that so th these are the four most important ones that um, we can think of and we put them in this format so I think abandoned cart would be the most important so this how does this work so basically anybody that lands on your booking form okay so you have a booking form and they're about to um book but maybe they leave right so they finish a couple things and they uh, put their information in so they put an email address um phone number click clicked a couple things maybe put some notes in and then they end up leaving now what will happen is that lead will be automatically collected in here right and it will show whether they have booked or they have not so if they did not book it's going to have no tag but you will be able to see their information right so these are all booked but basically if you click on view details you'll be able to see details about that lead and then you could also view um, what they have um, filled out up to that point right so then let's see if I could quickly pull something up like that or how will it look like? So if I click on this person, okay, so here it's not coming up. Let's see if I could quickly fill something up. So we got the funnel right here and let's say I'm gonna do four weeks. I'm gonna put test, test at gmail.com, um, test, last name and then let's say i'm going to put cash and now i should have this lead in here okay sometimes it uh, may take a little bit so how does it work so when you go to settings or when you go to settings or should be forms you'll be able to see this part here right and then here you can see that it tracks all of those leads into the abandoned cart leads if you have more funnels you could switch it but by default they will go there so as you can see that person has entered this funnel right they have not completed anything they are about to leave this works on any any of our forms one step two step three step forms or multi-step forms um, and then it will work in that way right so now what i can do is i could see that information so that person has only filled out these things so far and now i can run them through my funnel okay so <clears throat> what else is cool about this funnel so there's a 
couple things. So one, what you can do is when you're setting up your funnel, you can go ahead and push anybody in this funnel into campaigns. Okay. Why is that important? Because you can go ahead and basically do automated emails and autom automated text messages to that person. Right. So this person ended up in here, I could set up a campaign. Okay. One hour later, um, send them a coupon or something along those lines. So an automated automated campaign is working. Um, it's magic for you. And you're also doing things manually. However, you do it, um, you know, manually is up to you. You can do it by calling, texting, emailing, probably calling right away would be the most important and trying to convince this user to uh, finish the booking, right? So then once they finish booking, it'll go ahead and show up as booked. You can control if you want to remove them from this phone automatically after they book. Should it be marked one, it will update the revenue based on the amount, um, you know, they that the total is in the booking and things like that. So that's uh, some of the cool things that you can do with this funnel. It's, I think, a very, very important funnel because the leads that are over here are as hot as, you know, it could get. They're already interested. They click, they're looking through your booking form and for whatever reason they may be left, right? So that's some of the cool stuff you can do in this funnel. Now there's a canceled booking funnel as well. This one kind of, um, you could set it up in different ways. However, uh, by default in the system, what we did is imp it imports, it syncs automatically. Um, it's not shown here, but in your account, it probably will. So um, what will happen is that any person that has canceled will end up in that funnel, all right? So if we go in here, the purpose of this is to basically try to uh, call and reach out to the people that canceled and get them back to, um, you know, get, get their business back. So it will bring, it will check every day for cancellations that happened before. So we'll put in a person that maybe had a booking, um, or had a booking on schedule, never completed it and then canceled. It will end up here. Um, it will also, you know, bring in sync bookings that, already have been completed, but maybe the next uh, one in a reoccurring schedule, they decide to cancel the whole thing. So then the whole service will end up here and then you could call and figure out how to save that person. And then also, again, you could s uh, set up automated campaigns from here that anybody that um, goes in here, they get an automated campaign, which would be inside our campaigns module when you go here you could go ahead and set all that stuff up, but you could be like, Hey, we saw you canceled. Is there anything we can do? Then maybe, you know, a day later, here's $20 off to come back, things like that. And then again, you could run them down your funnel and see if you could get them to come back. So this one's important um, as well. Then the next one is your new review and feedback um, funnel and how this one works. It, it's again, every single day will import uh, the previous days by default, you could change these settings up by the way, all of them. So by default, they'll go ahead and, um, import all the bookings that were completed yesterday. Um, however, there's a couple things that we've added in here to make sure that it's not importing, um, literally everybody, even if a customer had a hundred bookings with you, because most likely they've already left the review or they maybe are not interested. <clears throat> so here, how that works as you can see, we've added this limitation. So you can control up to let's say three. So if a person had already three total bookings with you previously, it, it will not import the most recent completed job, right? Because if they've had two or three, let's say, you've most likely reached out to them. They either left the review or they're not interested. So it's not gonna keep importing those people over, which is significant because now you can kind of see that anybody that's being imported here, it's a good chance that, or a great chance that they, they're a brand new customer, fairly new, that either they haven't left the review or most likely haven't left the review. So you could just go to work and keep calling them. And the best strategy that I've seen is definitely 
to call manually, ask for a review, text message, email, whatever you can, because people don't like to leave those reviews. So calling, I think, is still the best uh, method. So you can, again, run them down the funnel, first call, second call one day later, and then try again seven days later. And if they haven't, then most likely um, it's going to be a no for the review. And then we got the one time to reoccurring. So if you run a re, uh, business that involves reoccurring service, then you could set up imports again, which automatically we have done for you as well. It will go ahead and look for anybody that had a, uh, a job the day before. And if it was a one-time appointment, it will import them here. And then you can go ahead and reach out to these people and try to see if you can convert them in, into a re reoccurring client. So those are the four funnels that by default we made for you guys. And again, you could add funnels. If there's anything else that's more important to you, like um, let's say a one star has came in, boom, comes into this funnel. And then you could reach out to anybody that ha has a one star and um, work with that lead, try to fix the situation, whatever it may be. So there's all sorts of things you can do. You could import your own leads from a data sheet or you could sync directly um, from booking koala based on all these criteria. And we'll of course keep on working on this module and improving it just like anything else in the software. But that's basically some of the awesome things that you're gonna be able to do in here. And let's see, I'm not gonna uh, go over everything one by one because we've made um, a bunch of videos explaining everything one by one. So if you guys are interested in this module, it will help you guys um, bring in a lot more revenue turn uh, you know potential leads into clients it's going to help you get more reviews it's going to help you save more uh, canceled bookings and things like that so uh, make sure that you guys see this one over here when you start going in here it's going to show you this is a hot lead because those again are the most important ones i believe so we wanted to label them so you guys can go ahead and get straight to work and try to convert those leads and then when you start working on one more thing is that when you start working on everybody, every person has a work progress. And this is the other part that I think is going to be super important because you could work with someone multiple times. Um, a, for example, one person might book today for the first time and they ended up in a funnel and they booked, right? So that is, we're calling these work progresses. So one work progress has come in next month they might book again there's going to be another work progress maybe a third one because you're trying to convert them from one time to reoccurring a fourth one because you know you're getting a review from them so one client might have multiple work progresses so everything will be tracked under that user um, over here so you could check if you've been winning um you know the progresses with them if you've been losing majority of them if, if you got a review things like that Okay, and what else real quick? Another cool thing that I know a lot of users wanted is to quickly, you know, turn a lead that has filled out information into a booking, which you can now do. So if you can, if you, if you see here, you could click create booking and it will pre-fill automatically all this data that you guys see or that that user pre-filled up to that point. So if they have a lot more, you click create booking it will just open up a new tab and all that stuff is going to be already pre-filled here for you so as you could see every other week that's pretty much all i selected so it switched from one time so that's really nice and convenient and that's all we're going to cover today i hope that you guys you know are excited about this new module as much as we are and we'd love to hear your feedback take care